Prison officers smuggled drugs into hemp leads for organized crime group A prison officer who smuggled drugs and mobile phones into hemp leads for an organized crime group has been jailed for more than three and a half years. Two serving prisoners and their now ex-girlfriends were also handed jail sentences for their part in the conspiracy to commit misconduct in a public office. Leeds Crown Court heard prison officer Daniel Anakin's wife Joanna Anakin admitted conspiring to supply cannabis that he told her had been seized at the jail in Armley. Catherine Robinson, prosecuting, said the main aim of the conspiracy was for contraband including phones, steroids and other controlled drugs to be brought into hemp leads by prison officer Daniel Anakin. Extensive mobile phone evidence showed contact between the defendants and between Daniel Anakin and members of a Wakefield-based organized crime group involved in the supply of heroin and cocaine. Ms. Robinson said Anakin, 33, had two meetings outside the jail with prisoners' girlfriends Kirsten Barker, 30, and Sophie Jamison, 30. The court heard Anakin was given packages to later deliver to the two prisoners at Hump Leeds. The meetings took place on October 7, 2017 at Ferrybridge Services near Pontefract and on October 13, 2017 in the car park outside the B&M store in Armley. At the time, prisoners Michael Gardner, 33, and Dane Jones, also 33, shared a cell at Hump Leeds. Miss Robinson said a member of staff at Hump Leeds became suspicious after spotting Daniel Anakin carrying a bag while he was leaving Gardner and Jones's cell on October 15, 2017. The cell was searched and Gardner tried to hide a mobile phone in his underwear. The mobile phone was recovered along with needles and syringes and tablets, which were later found not to be controlled drugs. Three days later the cell was searched again and more items which had been hidden in the cell were found. A phone, phone charger and 81 steroid tablets. Cocaine user Daniel Anakin was arrested when he went to work at Hump Leeds on October 16th and his car was searched. Officers seized a mobile phone, a carrier bag containing vials and three 150 milliliters bottles of Class C drug steroids plus a carrier bag containing steroids. She said between October 6 and 15, 2017 Anakin was in contact with a mobile phone number which shows him arranging to bring items into prison with a text that read Coke and 8 Seba that brown eye. Phone 2 bottles juice all the white tabs from other day in that boost bottle. Miss Robinson said, he is seemingly paid with cocaine and is offered money instead when he states, no mate not doing it anymore. Tomorrow last one, Miss Robinson said Anakin admitted collecting more packages containing drugs and other prohibited items but said he only ever took three into prison. Miss Robinson said, the other packages he threw away because they contained a drug which is a heroin substitute and has killed people. The court heard on September 20, 2017 Anakin had been seen getting into a Ford. Mondeo on Chevette Lane, Wakefield, to meet a drug dealer. Miss Robinson said Anakin was carrying a large white plastic bag containing what the prosecution say was cannabis when he arrived home. Miss Robinson said a text conversation recovered from Anakin's phone shows another man later went to Anakin's address to get a sample of the cannabis. She said Anakin's then-partner now wife Joanna, 34, sent a text message to a friend saying Anakin had caught a visitor coming out of prison with a massive stash of weed and she asked the friend if they knew anyone who smoked it. The court heard there were no records of Anakin having worked in the Hump Leeds Visitor Center in September 2017. Daniel Anakin of Newland Court, Wakefield admitted conspiracy to commit misconduct in a public office and conspiracy to supply Class B drug cannabis. Kirsten Barker, of Hazel Road, Nottingley, Sophie Jamison, of Simpsons Lane, Nottingley. 
Michael Gardner of Humphlodum, Nottinghamshire, and Dane Jones of No Fixed Abode all admitted conspiracy to commit misconduct in a public office. Joanna Anakin of Newland Court, Wakefield, admitted conspiracy to supply Class B drug cannabis. Ben Campbell, for dad of two Daniel Anakin, said he was a cocaine user himself at this stage. He was a naive and junior prison officer having only joined in the January of that year. Mr. Campbell said Anakin feels a great deal of shame. Giles Grant, mitigating for Michael Gardner, said his existing sentence is due to end in October 2023, adding, He bitterly regrets getting his partner involved. Mr. Grant said Gardner is now separated from Kirsten Barker. Michael Collins for Dane Jones said his existing sentence is due to run to August 2024. Adding, he did not organize, he did not control and his conduct should be seen as that of a user rather than an organizer. Stephen Swan, for Kirsten Barker, said, The arrangements were made for her. She acted on instructions. Her motivation W.S. not for financial gain but out of misguided loyalty to ex-partner Michael Gardner. Christopher Morton for Sophie Jameson, said, Her relationship with Dane Jones has come to an end. She described it as an abusive relationship. Mr. Morton added, the defendant was under a degree of emotional pressure. James Gelsthorpe for Joanna Anakin said she is the sole carer for her four-year-old son, adding, she has separated from Daniel Anakin. Michael Collins for Dane Jones said his client said he had bought the phone in prison. Judge Robin Mayer's jailed Daniel Anakin for three years and nine months. Michael Gardner was jailed for two years and eight months. Dane Jones for three years. Kirsten Barker for one year and eight months and Sophie Jameson for one year and eight months. Joanna Anakin was handed a six-month jail sentence. Suspended for two years and told to do 250 hours unpaid work.